Don't let me get too close. So keep moving yourself. Yes. Okay, now track my arm. Go around. Don't let go of it. Yes. Again. Track. Yes. Again. Track. Not this one. The other one is already available to you. You have to use the easier one, not the difficult one. Move yourself. Lock here. Lock. Lock. And up to the side of that tube. Yes. But again, the escape is not the most important now. Lay down, Cassia, please. It's not about the escape. It's about being comfortable and not supposed to be an uncomfortable situation. So, I recommend allow somebody to mount on you and, and practice stay, be, stay mounted but with a good space on the defense, with a good clear position for your frame, don't let the guy put you uncomfortable. And even when you get uncomfortable, the way is for you to regain comfort. So dealing with a bad position has to be about practicing the bad position, not the escape. The escape will come easy. It's important for you to know not only put the hand on my, my, my and confirm my grip, is to grab and use the leverage to make my grip miserable. So your intentions to prevent a choke doesn't come from the timing, a good time escape. Coming from the, the progression of your defense, your leverage against his power. The defense against the punch is not about grabbing the arm, it's about lifting the hip connected to take the guy the timing for him to really hurt you. So the real defense for a, a trap arm is not about being strong or being fighting the guy because he will push him with the body weight and the pressure, so he's gonna lift. It's exactly the, the position you take his balance away. When he try to balance out, you bring your elbow in again and regain comfort. But you have to spend some time on those positions, not to escape, but to, re, to leave the, the discomfort to the point the discomfort becomes comfortable. And then you, you create some kind of peaceful mind to escape, to prevent, to stay there and, and, and resist. Because sometimes, even though she may know how to protect herself, because my technical skills, because my weight, she may not gonna be able to escape. But she still be able to survive, which is the most important thing in that training. Is to become comfortable and don't allow me to just be brutal or aggressive and grab the collar the way I want and choke the way I want. When I grab the collar, it becomes your grip. So you have to respond that with leverage, with calmness, with breathing. So the idea now is work on the discomfort, not exactly to escape, not exactly to get panic, not exactly to, to get submit, but to understand the, the feeling because it's an escalation of the pressure. And for me, I need your help to put you in a bad position. See, she's a very nice girl. Oh, now you become more smart from the beginning. But if I start to switch the, the elbow here, from point one, she's already locking and using the body to make, me, to make me let go. So, my pressure depends of escalation of situations, which the pressure is consistent to the point of the submission. If you disarm my, 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 my assembly, you become, you give you an, ex, an extra new life. Even though the position doesn't change, I kind of missing the angle to capture and to make the checkmate. So be here and be calm and be sure it's not going to happen the checkmate. It's already a big victory. Eventually, if you combine that calmness, that's a certainty with the upa, with the elbow escape, with other escapes, it's going to be very hard for somebody to keep you there or eventually submit you. Okay? He's together. Not here. The pressure is here. Exactly. Let's keep training hard, guys and girls. Thank you.